So this weekend was primarily focused on our readiness skills. We focused on different SFODA infiltration uh, platforms as well. Uh, so we did uh, fast rope insertion uh, or fries. Um, we also did static line airborne operations and our, our ground mobility team took the joint light tactical vehicle or JLTV out to do some training uh, elsewhere off of Camp Atterbury. So we jumped from uh, 1,250 feet. Uh, the purpose of airborne operations are basically to get a light infantry unit to a place faster than uh, ground mobility or ground mobile vehicles. Helicopters typically they can put a, a fast rope right where you want it. It gets your it gets your soldiers out quicker. They're able to uh, assault an objective while on the objective, so they don't have to worry about going too far and expending energy. They just get there and go. Um, it also serves as an infiltration platform uh, for like forested areas and for the mountains, other places where airborne operations aren't suitable. The JLTV has been purchased by the U.S. military as the Humvee's replacement. And then this was the first time they actually took them off road. The, the team that took them out did a really good job of trying to get them stuck as much as possible and, and working on recovery and seeing what their capabilities were. The reason we train on these things is to build confidence uh, and maintain those skill sets. To become a master of any craft, you have to have a lot of repetition in it. Uh, and we try to repeat things as much as possible. I have the utmost confidence in my unit. We, we historically have done great things with, with many accolades. Uh, because we, we A, think about things differently, uh, because we're National Guard, and, and B, because whenever we do get together, we, we practice those basics over and over and over. So make the easy stuff easy and the hard stuff easy too.